Hi, this is Brandy Shampoo with Exploding Expression, and welcome, welcome, welcome to another Check Out This Book, the series where I share some of my favorite books with you. And we have a fantastic one today. It's called Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. Shark Lady. This is by Jess Keating, illustrations by Marta Alvarez McGuinness. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, McGuinness. Now, before we get started in this, make sure to hit like and subscribe and share this and click that notifications so that you can make sure that you're notified each and every time we have a new check out this book or product spotlight or any of the other fantastic things that we do here at Exploring Expression, you want to make sure to be notified because, well, they're fantastic. So this is called Shark Lady, the true story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. I love this book. And they actually have a whole series. We, um, we did Dinosaur Lady not long ago in our homeschool and absolutely loved it and so now that we are studying oceans we picked up the shark lady ready it was saturday and eugenie wanted to stay at the aquarium forever she wanted to smell the damp salty air and stare at the glittery rainbow of fish she wanted to keep watching her favorite animals the sharks Eugenie pretended she was walking on the bottom of the sea. What would it be like to swim with the sharks, to breathe underwater with gills of her own? More than anything, she wanted to find out. When the summer came, Eugenie's mother took her to swim at the beach in Atlantic City. Stuffing sticky gum into her ears to keep the water out, Eugenie dove down, down, down. The salt stung her eyes, but she didn't want to miss a single fish. Constellations of sea stars speckled the pebble sand. She imagined a silvery fin standing strong on her back, slicing through the ocean current. To others, sharks were ugly and scary, but Eugenie knew they were beautiful. As she glided through the cool water, she wished everyone could see sharks through her eyes. But the sharks were only in her mind, for now. Eugenie decided to learn everything she could about them. So she dove. I love the art in this book. This time, into books. Whale sharks, nurse sharks, tiger sharks, lemon sharks. Eugenie wanted to know about them all. She also joined the Queens County Aquarium Society as its youngest member. Eugenie's notebooks filled with sharks. They swam in her daydreams and on the margins of her pages. At home, Eugenie's mother surprised her with an aquarium of her own. A 15 gallon tank was much too small for sharks, but Eugenie saved her allowance to buy, ready, guppies, clownfish, who do we know that's a clownfish, and coral red snails. It felt as big as an ocean in her room. Their small apartment became an aquarium, a laboratory, and a sanctuary. As she grew older, many were still telling Eugenie what to do. Forget those sharks. Be a secretary. Be a housewife. Eugenie wanted to study zoology, but some of her professors thought women weren't smart enough to be scientists or brave enough to explore the oceans. And they said sharks were mindless monsters. Eugenie knew better. Her dream was as big as a whale shark. So again, Eugenie dove. What'd she dive into this time? She plunged into every course she could her laboratory became her home. From sunrise to sunset, she studied how fish grow, how they behave, and how they were put together, both inside and out. Despite all of the people who didn't believe in her, Eugenie was becoming one of the smartest students in her field. 
Even after she earned her degree, many still doubted her. But Eugenie's work was just beginning. Eager to make discoveries of her own, Eugenie finally dove into the open ocean. In the Red Sea, Eugenie collected hundreds of fish, including three new species that had never been discovered before. There they are. It's the Red Sea Sand Driver, the Barred Xenia Pipefish, and Volcano Triplefin. On a research mission exploring the Palau Islands, Eugenie was diving alone when she encountered her first ever wild shark. She wasn't afraid. Instead, she thought it was beautiful. Look at that. An Ila, I'm gonna pronounce this, an Ila Mures, she dispelled the myth that sharks must keep moving to stay alive when she sam through dark caves, still and silent, full of resting sharks. Eugenie's daring heart grew bolder with each dive. Soon they began to call her Shark Lady. Eugenie had proven she was smart enough to be a scientist and brave enough to explore the ocean. See all those sharks resting right there? As her courage grew, she began to love and understand her beloved sharks more and more. But she never forgot, many still believed that sharks were mindless killers. Because of their scary reputation, humans were hunting sharks all over the world. Eugenie knew that sharks weren't stupid or mean. She was determined to prove everyone wrong. Eugenie fished through her mind and devised a brilliant experiment. Could she train a shark the way a person trains a dog? Were sharks much smarter than anyone knew? They were. Eugene was the first scientist in the world to train sharks and even learned they could remember their training for at least two months afterward. That's very interesting, isn't it? Sharks were not mindless killers. Sharks were beautiful. Sharks were smart. They deserved to be studied, protected, and loved. And Eugene's, Eugenie's dream was now a dream come true. The end. And in the back of this book, which is fantastic, are all these little shark bites, little bits and facts about sharks. This is called Shark Lady, the story of how Eugenie Clark became the ocean's most fearless scientist. I love these types of books, all about, uh, that teach us something new, help us learn something new every day. So if you have an idea of a book that you'd like me to read, on a future episode of check out this book make sure to um, put it in the comments or just send me a note and until next time i'll see you later